Where are my manners? Here we are, 50-something videos into this channel, and I've never introduced you to this Bronco 2. Folks, meet my Bronco 2. Bronco 2, meet the folks. So the Bronco 2s, as you may know, they're based on a Ranger platform. They were introduced in 1983 for the 1984 model year. And uh, I ended up with this one. I was looking for a small four-wheeler. I've had Samurais in the past. Those were just a bit too small for me and underpowered as well. So when this popped up on Craigslist, I took a gamble and bought it as a rolling chassis. So in the beginning, these were equipped with a 2.8 liter V6 that had a propensity to crack heads. And the automatic transmissions that were equipped in these were known for not working very long. And uh, that didn't matter to me because when I bought it, it had no engine and no transmission. So what I ended up doing was I ended up putting in this. So under the hood of the Bronco 2 and the Ranger, there's just enough room to fit a small V8 engine and a really good swap candidate for something that doesn't have a lot of underhood space is Ford's 5 liter or 302 series engine because of its low deck height of 8.2 inches. It's a very compact design. This one's made even more compact by the use of Explorer front accessories and Explorer valve covers. This engine's completely stock and with the electronic fuel injection I'm sure it runs cleaner than it, it did when it was a carbureted 2.8 liter V6. You're probably thinking how does it run? Well let's go find out. I've been pondering the question, would I recommend one of these for a project? And I have to honestly say in stock form, no. The engines weren't very reliable in my opinion, and the transmissions, if they were automatic, weren't very good. If you're willing to address all those shortcomings, it's the right size. It's kind of the right wheelbase, and uh, they're very cheap. You can pick them up on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. but. You kind of have to realize it's just a big ball of clay at that point. It's going to need a lot of work to turn it into something that's capable off-road, but so far I've been happy with it, and uh, I'm going to give it some love in the next couple of videos. We're going to improve it a little bit, so look for those upcoming in the future. And thanks for watching.